Candidates for the 6th District Congressional Race are weighing in on their performances from last night's debate here at WSB-TV. And the candidates sparred on several issues. I've been in Georgia for almost as long as you've even been alive. You might live just five minutes outside of the district, but your values are nearly 3,000 miles away in San Francisco. We need an independent voice in Washington, not someone like Secretary Handel, uh, whose campaign has been bailed out by these special interests. Channel 2's Richard Elliott was with me last night in studio last night, and he is now live in North Fulton County with one particular moment that Ossoff supporters, oh man, they ate up Twitter with something she said last night. I spoke with Karen Handel a few hours ago, asked her about that one sentence where she said that she did not support a livable wage. She said today that she meant a livable wage as mandated by the federal government. It's that mandate, she says, that she opposes. Not someone like Secretary Handel. For nearly an hour, Republican Karen Handel and Democrat John Ossoff debated here on WSB TV. Then, a little more than halfway through, while talking about the minimum wage, Handel said this I do not support a livable wage. What I support is making sure that we have an economy that is. Is robust. Ossoff supporters pounced on that one statement, and in less than 24 hours, video of that remark trended worldwide on YouTube. So we met up with Handel outside her North Fulton County campaign headquarters and asked her about it. She says what she meant is that she doesn't support higher salaries through government mandates. I was talking about the mandate. My opponent believes that um, having more federal government mandates is what will grow salaries. What I believe is the solution for all hardworking Georgians to be able to earn a better salary. We met up with John. Ossoff at a Sandy Springs campaign event. He says he believes the debate showed the differences between the two candidates. Well, I think the contrast is pretty clear uh, between a fresh independent voice for this community uh, and with all due respect to my opponent, uh, a career politician. Handel believes the question of government mandates draws the contrast too. I really believe that the solution to helping ensure that all hardworking Georgians can make a good salary is not through mandates. My opponent believes that government should mandate and dictate. Now, while Ossoff supporters may have seized on that uh, one statement, the Ossoff campaign just a couple of minutes ago insists it did not seize on that statement. During the debate, John Ossoff said he believed a minimum wage should be a livable wage and it indexed to the cost of living. We're live in North Fulton County. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. Richard, thank you for the clarification on that, uh, that part of last night. Now, we'll get more insight into the debate from political analyst Bill Crane, who was also part of our evening at WSB last night. You'll hear from Bill Crane in our next half hour.